Japan increases its support for refugees in Algeria. The government of Japan donated 1.4 million U.S. dollars to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, or UNHCR, to assist asylum seekers and refugees with better access to health care, sanitation, and hygiene. For example, services for infants and HIV patients will be provided along with support for COVID prevention and schooling for nurses and midwives. The funds will also allow the distribution of hygiene supplies and clean burning fuel for domestic needs. Japan is a shining world leadership awards for compassion, generosity, and animal protection laureate. We bow in gratitude, Japan. Your caring donation beyond your shores is testament to the kind nature of your nation. Many thanks, loving Algeria, for hosting many refugees from your region. May they be safe and see better days ahead in Allah's graciousness. Conflict in Ukraine created 55 child refugees every minute. The United Nations Children's Fund or UNICEF reported that over the first 20 days of war alone, children were becoming refugees at a rate of nearly one per second. As of mid-April, more than half of Ukraine's child population had fled their homes, with 2 million youngsters in neighboring countries and 2.8 million internally displaced. According to UNICEF, fleeing children face a high risk of human trafficking, and such large-scale displacements could lead to long-term consequences over generations. Meanwhile, of the remaining 2.7 million children still in their homes, some may have insufficient food, while those in Mariupol and other besieged areas have been facing even graver dangers. Thank you for the concerning information, UNICEF. We tearfully pray for the protection of the young Ukrainian innocents from as much trauma as possible. May a peaceful world be there soon in the Divine's awakening light. Nepal and South Sudan establish diplomatic relations. The agreement was signed at a ceremony in New York, USA by the country's representatives, both ambassadors to the United Nations, His Excellency Amrit Bahadur Rai from Nepal and His Excellency Akwai Bona Malwal from South Sudan. The two diplomats also discussed a number of topics to enhance bilateral collaboration for their country's benefit. Through Ambassador Rai, Nepal further expressed its commitment to promoting peace in South Sudan, a two-time Shining World Leadership Award for Peace Laureate. Approximately 1,800 Nepali peacekeepers have been previously deployed for the United Nations mission there. Heaven bless your friendship, Nepal and South Sudan. May your gracious citizens prosper in harmony and mutual support. Smart Hospital for Senior Citizens to be built in Taiwan or Formosa The National Cheng Kung University or NCKU in Tainan has started building a high-technology geriatric hospital, the first of its kind in the country. It is estimated that at least 20% of the population will be 65 or older by 2025. Innovations designed locally by various academic institutions will contribute to the excellent physical and mental health care of the elderly using advanced information and communication technologies. Also, the well-known Taiwanese or Formosan architect Chang Xinghua ensured that each floor will have plentiful sunlight and greenery to brighten the patient's mood. Taiwanese or Formosan President Her Excellency Tsai Ing-wen conveyed her well wishes at the ceremony to mark the start of the hospital's construction. We look forward to this state-of-the-art hospital's opening. May all the elderly continue to be appreciated and cared for in Buddha's boundless love. Neighbor rescues wheelchair-bound man from burning house. In Clarksville, Tennessee, USA, Anthony Hindelighter was sitting in his vehicle outside his house and playing his guitar one night when he saw smoke and flames coming out of his neighbor's house. Charles Harris, who was living there, had unintentionally started a fire with a cigar. Smoking has been found to be the number one cause of home fire deaths in the U.S. and many other countries. The fire quickly spread and surrounded Mr. Harris, and as he was escaping, his wheelchair became stuck in the doorway. This is when Mr. Hindelighter arrived and quickly pulled him out of the burning house. 
While Mr. Harris credits his neighbor with saving his life, the humble hero said, "I just did what I thought the God I serve would do." Mr. Hindleiter also raised almost one thousand five hundred U.S. dollars to help Mr. Harris get back on his feet. We are so relieved that you were unharmed, and wish you the best, Charles Harris. A standing ovation, Anthony Hindleiter, for your selfless heroism. May you be showered with peace and wellness in the tenderness of the providence. You give Loring Company awarded vegan certification. The Bamboo Flooring Company, established in 2004, is the first in its industry to carry the vegan trademark from the UK-based Vegan Society for its high-quality, environmentally friendly bamboo flooring. While traditional hardwood flooring is made from trees that are harvested every 15 to 20 years, bamboo is a more sustainable alternative because it grows fast and can be harvested every five years. After it is cut, the unique grass regenerates itself. Thus, it is not necessary to seed a new plant. Bamboo floors are also sturdy, beautiful, and less expensive. The company said that they are proud to let customers know that all of their adhesives, stains, and lacquers are vegan. Bamboo Flooring Company, we applaud your efforts to contribute to the eco-friendliness of people's homes. May more companies take similar steps to meet the high demand for vegan products in celestial goodwill. Firefighters in the United States rescued dog person swept away by current. When Scooby was carried away by a fast-flowing river in Los Angeles, California, his caregiver Angela Buono jumped in to try to save her beloved companion. However, as the currents were too strong and life-threatening, though shallow, Angela and a caring man who also tried to get Scooby themselves needed to be saved by a fireman via helicopter. The fireman then tried to secure Scooby, but was also unsuccessful. Finally, after two hours and fourteen kilometers, a water rescue crew of four managed to get a leash around the frightened canine person and bring him to safety. Scooby was then treated for minor injuries before being happily reunited with Angela, who expressed her gratitude to all who helped. Our heartfelt appreciation to the rescuers for your determination to save the loyal dog person. May Scooby have many safe adventures and happy times with his beloved friend Angela Buono in God's delight.